Okay, here's another abandoned mine portal. Gotta slide into this one. You can see my feet. Do you hear that? Okay, so you can see this is a real narrow squeeze. So that's what we just came through. That was a real narrow squeeze. You can see these massive support timbers that have been here since the 1890s. That's almost a foot in diameter. And uh, overhead, they put some boards that look in pretty good condition. But we're gonna we're gonna head down that way and check out the mine. It looks like the tunnel makes a hard right turn. Okay, there's the portal. It comes in here, makes a hard turn, and goes this way. Some rocks on the tunnel floor. Sometimes that's not a good sign. We're turning to the left here. And we've got ore cart tracks right there. You can see them. Yeah. And it looks like a straight shot here. Pretty cool. Possible fault line right here. And there's another. There's another uh, moth. Yeah. Look at the ore cart tracks. are gone. They didn't last very long. And here's a heavily timbered section. Remember, they only timbered where they thought it was weak and prone to collapse. And you can see on the left how those boards are kind of bowing out. Nothing here on the right, because this is just the fault line. But yeah, these are definitely bowing out from pressure. Well, this kind of looks dangerous. Right. right above here in the tunnel, look at that. That is a massive boulder that came loose and is pressing down on these timbers. But that's why the miners timbered here, because they knew this was prone to collapse. There's an old bucket right up in there. See that bucket? Looks like it's full of rocks. Wow, this is, this is dangerous. I've got to get through here. So that's what we just came through with that big boulder up there perched on top of all those uh, sagging timbers. That was, so we'll continue down the tunnel. Feeling some airflow. It forks. It's got a dead end with a false floor. And then on the right, it seems to go and open up again. Well, let's check it out. Okay, so we just came from that way. We're at this intersection. It's a dead end to my uh, left, but straight ahead here. It keeps going, and this is a heavily timbered area. They put some retaining walls in right there. So, and I don't know how that ore cart track got that bent. That's strange. But we'll keep going down the main tunnel and see what we can uh, find. Still feels, still feeling some airflow, so that's a good thing. Now this tunnel you can stand up in about 10 feet tall, something like that. Maybe eight feet. Yeah, the ore car tracks have been removed. You can see the indentation where the cross ties were. And they took those out. Probably used them in another mine. That was the practice, I guess. So we noticed right here on the tunnel wall, it's kind of blackened like there was a fire right in this little section. And on the ground, it looks like there's some ash and some twigs and broken pieces of lumber and timbers. Somebody might have had a fire in here, a campfire. Maybe like right there. And it just burned up the side of the wall, but not, not the best idea to light a fire in a mine because 
I think it can suck out all the oxygen, you know, and this wouldn't be a good idea, but that's probably what happened right there. So we'll keep going down the main tunnel and see what we can find. Okay, I hear the rock is changing, and so is my voice. It's getting uh, kind of muffled, I think, but uh, must be in a different layer of rock. Okay, so we're at a four-way intersection again. That's a dead end, according to Nick. Doesn't go anywhere. And we got the main tunnel this way. And looks, yeah, we'll take this branch on the way back. On our way back, we'll we'll keep we'll keep going down this way. Explore this drift. So continuing down the main tunnel. What do we got? Uh, dead ends here and there, but it continues up to the left. So we've got a left hand a left hand turn. Wow, the rocks are really something in here, the color. Kind of striking. Boy, that doesn't look very strong, does it? Old support timber. Yeah, this is really fractured. See that? And that's what falls down here. Look how they put support timbers in here, all the fracturing. There's some wooden stakes. There's a wooden spike right there because this is very uh, fractured and really prone to collapse. They should have just timbered this section of the tunnel, but uh, they didn't. So we'll pass through this as quietly as possible and hope it doesn't come down. I hear some timbers collapsed. <clears throat> So that's the end of the tunnel. There's no need to go back there. You can see the, the end. So here's these uh, collapsed timbers. And we'll head back out and take that junction that we skipped on the way in. Okay, the main tunnel, the entrance is back that way. So we're back at this junction. We didn't take this branch. So we're gonna head down here and see where this goes. I'm feeling a little bit more airflow in this tunnel. So I don't know. Looks like somebody was doing some digging right there. But we'll continue this way. So here at the end of this drift is a, uh, it's a dead end, but it comes out here to a, uh, a vertical shaft. Um, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer so you can see down in this. Well, that probably goes down to lower levels. I can't get much closer than that, but it also looks like it goes up. And that would be a raise. So this is a raise, a vertical shaft that connects various levels in a mine. That's why there's air coming out of here. So I don't know how far down that goes. Let me throw a rock in there. Doesn't sound that deep, but it looks like it goes up quite a ways.